Opie and Anthony. Holy Jesus. <laughs> the franchise version of Opie and Anthony. We'll be interviewing uh, <laughs> David Tyree today. Yeah, he's got a book out. Yeah, we got a lot of football fans out there, you know, big, a lot of big blue fans. And uh, David Tyree, of course, was the one that made that ridiculous catch in the Super Bowl. So he's got a book. He's got a book called More Than Just the Catch. A true, uh, a true story of courage, hope, and achieving the impossible. Oh, yeah? And Patrice suggested that maybe David Tyree should have made a flip book. <laughs> <laughs> a 45-page flip book? A flip book where you just go, <laughs> let you flip it, and, and there's it the shows catch. the cat. <laughs> 1,000 pages so it can be an HD. <laughs> HD oh. flip book? 10,000-page <laughs> flip book. Look. <laughs> HD flip book? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Look, man, you know what? Good for him. Good for Big Blue. We'll yeah. never have a Super Bowl ring around our finger, but... Gives a shit. But come on. Come on. <laughs> I mean, come on. Is this also like a self-help... The cycle of success. Dude, there's... there's you gotta do right. work. It says, write down three reasons why you want to accomplish this goal. Well, how about this? To achieve a goal that's very important to you. Let me, let me play a game. <laughs> Don't go, do this, Go to show. a page. Ready? Yeah. I, I will start. Okay. Page 174. All right. Let me go to 174. Four. Got okay. It. I'm All there. right. Page. <laughs> page one seventy three. God. Swear to God. Look, right there. What's? Oh, oh, it's on there. The All whole. Right. Oh, I see. Oh. Page eighty one. Je Jesus Christ. Eighty one. Eighty one. Oh. It's on one seventy four. God. Je All right. Let's try it again. Jesus Christ. Page one. Since I became a Christian. On March 14th, 2004, my perspective on life has changed dramatically. 110 Christ. So he's he's born again, too. <laughs> man, oh man, so that, oh man. that, okay, so. I have nothing to do made, with this one, man. He made I a catch. I'm bowing out of this motherfucker, man. I swear to God. He made a catch. <laughs> and, 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 he's a born, and he's a born again Christian. Right. Small beginnings are gifts <laughs> from God. And all greatness must start there. Small Overnight success. Has small nowings. <laughs> small nowings. <laughs> Great men fuck? understand that they are born with the potential for greatness inside them. Uh -huh. God, this process entails allowing God uh -huh. to take them from one level of glory to the next. Right. Too much glory from the world all at once has stifled the potential of many great men and women. I have learned to be content with my portion and wait on God. Mm -hmm. Holy Jesus Christ, how the f how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? I already told you. Dude, he made one we're, catch. It, it, we're having the... <laughs> we're going to have... We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, Don't do this, man! Dude. Don't fucking do dude. this! I'm telling you, I can't! Dude. We're going to do the franchised version of the open up. <laughs> oh, right? oh, my God. God oh, please. boy. <laughs> oh, no. And then his diet. <laughs> his diet is in the back of the book. What he eats. Really? Well, you had to fill up the 100 pages. Is this more than just the catch? <laughs> more than just the catch. I woke up this morning. I took a dump. I walked to the kitchen. Oh. One foot, two yeah. foot, one foot, <laughs> left, right. I went to the fork drawer. <laughs> <laughs> this is more than just a catch. Oh, God, yeah! <laughs> what the fuck? What am I doing with my career? I... The forward is by Eli Manning. Mm -hmm. uh... and I, I could, you know. Uh... Well, where's my book? <laughs> uh, Write your book somebody. and fuck it. Oh, you, hey. gave, you gave it to Opie? Yes. All right. Hey, you my, know what? Opie's got my Does book. Does Anthony have a what? copy of the book? Yeah, Anthony's right. got a copy right. as well. Danny, so. what are you doing in your book? I Googled. <laughs> I, the Danny, the I Danny Google. story. More than just more Googling. More than just Googling the Danny story. More than, more than just a computer monitor. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. More than a Google to me. <laughs> I push shit. buttons sometimes, too, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kid. I remember a day back in early spring. A button needed to be, to be pushed. <laughs> I leaned over and I pushed the button. I thought I had something. I was like, should I turn the mic on? I don't know. My tank real bad. Uh, I'm going to go for it. I so I went. Button. And God gave me the courage. <laughs> and here's some, here's some pictures in the middle. Me Googling. 
<laughs> Holy September 7th. shit. Me, oh, my God. Is this going to suck monkey ass? Let me this see your book. Suck. Hey, fellas, let me see your book. If, yeah. if you guys, yeah. if it's not the franchise version. Yeah. It's going to be the franchise version. If, okay. Because if it, it's is, the real version. We're yeah. trying to franchise out the show. So I'm... <laughs> like leaving the leaving building. This room. Yeah, yeah, the building. Why? Because I just can't deal with this one, man. Let me see. How many? How many pictures? The pictures got to be at least good. <laughs> I fir fir could we first? Are, are there any posters around with our fucking no, faces no, no, on? No, no, oh, no. Good deal. All right. All right. Um, the yeah, picture section is good. I love the photo section because I'm sure there are so many. Uh, here's his eighth grade graduation trip to Hershey, what? Pennsylvania. What's wrong? Problem, Steve? You problem? Anything with your, um... Yes. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Go ahead, Ant. You know what's um, funny about Steve, real quick? His, his doing the right thing is the same face as the doing the wrong thing face. Yeah. Like, she, you, he's coming to tell some good news, but it's like, it, I thought it was some bad <laughs> <laughs> That's a good observation. <laughs> At this point, I set foot in the studio, and I know I'm going to get hit with a hail of gunfire. It's just so pictures it's just, of him and his news, wife and news, kids. Blam. This is I cannot. What did I text you? Like, look, what? I don't want to say it, but what I got I got to say it. What? I have never seen a more who gives a fucking <laughs> shit book in my life. I'm sorry, it had to be said. Why? What's wrong with the book? I could Dude, care. I fucking cannot let. believe. More I wouldn't just read this if I was stranded <laughs> I on a fucking look, island. I wouldn't read the book called. The whole Manning family, <laughs> as told by, as told by Archie, uh, the day my wife pushed out Eli was a wonderful day. Look, like this is nothing. Can, can I have my version of the book, please? Are you? Fu I I can't believe this. Dude. Here it is. The catch that this is by Eli Manning. The catch that David made was great, but as you read this book, you will see that God has been doing great things in his life for quite some oh time. Well, there were some God people on the Patriots, too, you know. Like, yeah, what happened to those guys? What the fuck? The that greatest doing play the right thing in, in the Super Bowl history? Judge for yourself. I believe it is. Oh, my God. This is all about... It's, it's like... It's, dude, I'm trying to equate it to some other, like, event... Where you would write a book about it and it would be equally as fucking inane um, and useless. Ready? Yes, please. The guy who was the agony of defeat guy on Wild World Sports. <laughs> I'm At least he was on TV <laughs> every called, fucking week. I'm better than this. Right. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just called ouch. <laughs> yeah. More than a broken leg. <laughs> more, more, than, more than a more than a busted spleen. Right. The uh, the, the, uh, <laughs> the agony of defeat guy. This is okay, another book would be Subway Superman. Yeah. He jumped on that fucking guy and they wrote a whole book about it. Mm -hmm. Like him just jumping on the fucking this guy. Is this is guys, genius like, where you go, wait a minute, I got because okay. you know what? The Wild World Sports guy, that the agony of defeat he is significant. He's on TV wait every was on TV every week. It, it's like mm -hmm. and everyone the agony of defeat. Like what what Ready? What here it is. Okay. You're a sports guy? Um yeah, All right. not really. You're a sports guy, oh yeah. yeah Ready? Is. The guy you ever hear the immaculate reception? Of course. Oh, I, I did hear that. The guy the ball bounced off of. <laughs> Not even the guy that actually caught it after. <laughs> For Franco to catch it. The guy that it ah! hit. You know that guy walks around and goes, look, here's the heel. This is my heel. This is yeah. my heel. This is the famous heel. The fucking guy <laughs> that the ball bounced Dude, off of. You know what? How bad, the you know how guy bad? sitting next to Bartman. From Chicago. <laughs> you know how bad the picture... Who didn't catch it. You know how bad the picture section is in the book? He actually reenacts the, the catch right next to the picture of the catch. Yeah, they got the picture of the catch, and then him holding the ball against his head... Fuck me, ...to man. show what... I can't... I can't... I can't... If, if his teammates aren't teasing him about this book... Yeah. That yeah. means two things. Uh-huh. He's creepy religious <laughs> yeah that's and he can be. really really fight right. yeah and he can kick right. some some ass there's two things we could do here we could do the franchise version of the opium anthony show yes that's such or, a genius thing to say or man. we could attempt to do 20 minutes where all we talk about is the catch <laughs> no <laughs> no i can't i can't do this and he tries to change the subject and we try to come up with more but his book more is more than the catch just but look how small the letters are for more than just and then the catch is big letters. Right. Like, so it really, when you first look at that. First of all, he didn't do the book. 
No, it was written by who's, who's the little name <coughs> under with, his name with Kimberly Daniels, which means yeah. she's the writer. Uh, you know, God we're wrong. Damn f- You're fucking sound on this God fucking pal talk. Listen, we're wrong though because on Amazon the book's doing very well. It's at uh, number. Want to guess? Four hundred and sixty. We are so wrong about this. Amazon. Guess, really? Guess where it is on Amazon? This I'll book say is selling, my friend. Number five thousand. Five thousand, Patrice. Back when they listed, I it has to be. First of all, <laughs> it's only it's only Uber Giants fans. There's Giants fans who, who <laughs> went to the rally who who took a shit on. Like get the fuck out of here. They they bought a bobblehead. They wouldn't buy a David Tyree bobblehead. <laughs> it's if whatever the listing is for new books. It, if it's if it's seventy five, <laughs> it's seventy four. <laughs> it is number seven, two, o, eight. <laughs> seven <laughs> thousand two hundred. <laughs> there are seven thousand two hundred and seven other books people would rather read. <laughs> what? I bet you some of those There's books not... are books that are coming. Wait, like wait. I am Wait, hold Get, on. Please tell me what the one are, just above it is. I gotta tell you, seven thousand two hundred and eight. And just below it. What it's beating. There's not even seven thousand readers in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> what is the book right before it and right after it? Uh, I'd love yeah, to what, know. Right. Of mice and men. <laughs> it's still selling. Yeah, this came out in '52. <laughs> Fucking the guy that the ball bounced off of. That you're right. How can you do this? See, this is why I'm 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 all mixed emotions because sometimes you go oh. on radio shows and they don't know you and you go yeah. you just don't want to be made fun of. Right. But you don't. You what the fuck? Are you are you? Who is who could fucking do this? Except for Good Morning, you know, Good Day, fucking San Francisco. Yeah, 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 Ex- yeah. exactly. This should never. Is this ever a new book? Here. It comes out tomorrow. Oh, it's, it comes out tomorrow. Oh, so that's the pre-order. Pre-order. So it's doing well. Pre-order. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> well, how many books are there? <laughs> if there's if there's twelve thousand books, I think there's a dozen, and we got four of them. Catch. <laughs> Come on, Dan. Some of the chapters are good. Dude, no, they're not. Yes, there is. There's some. There's something for everybody in I, this book. I, I would... <laughs> there's some, dude, there's dude, something for everybody there. Fucking constipated. If that was on the back of my toilet, I'd read the fucking... To- yeah, I, I'd uh, read something out of the garbage, a tampon wrapper. And then the rapper. bottom, it says his name. It's like, if you're just a person, you go, you go, okay, be... What? And then you go... By who has told to what? Like you did, it's just a, David. Who has told to Kimberly what? What the fuck? What the fuck indeed? I uh, uh, well, you got my childhood days. That should be good. Why? Uh, athletics, my way out. Traveling down the wrong track. High school days. I wouldn't fucking An SU like Orange Man. Baby Mama. A ticket to the NFL. Like Joe fucking Theismann. From freedom to bondage Like, to I wouldn't read... You wouldn't give a, a fuck? A, a whole chapter on just that leg snapping. Look, man. I would still may, wouldn't read maybe it. Maybe barely... Jim Brown. Maybe mm, no. Dick Buckus. <laughs> the Dick idea Butkus. of a guy who used to be feared in the NFL. Dude, OJ had a book out talking about murdering two people yeah. and none of us read it. Where's the Emerson <laughs> Boozer book? Right. If I killed the bitch. <laughs> Right. No yeah. one read that. Here's I killed exactly the how I killed the bitch, <laughs> and we couldn't be bothered. <laughs> if I stole back my sports memorabilia, that's my new book. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I did more than a slash to the jugular. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> yeah, more than a partial decapitation. Right <laughs> by OJ, more. as told to Judge Ito. <laughs> <laughs> What's, oh, what's, more than this fucking fucking, jugular. what's wrong with the books we got? we got? They read pretty good. Yeah. Hey, what's some of those other books? Oh, uh, the dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> the Storm. Moby Dick. Of Mice and Men. Oh, fuck, man. The I Stand. Can't. Harry Potter. I don't want to. I just don't want to. I don't want to do this. This is, no, this this is so bad. wrong, man. Well, you have to be the guest. Oh, guess what? <laughs> you have to oh. be. Man, I, I can't. Fucking Kato Kalins more than just a bump in the air conditioner. Because <laughs> this, is, this is the giant. You know what? Here's what's happening now. Right now, mm. if no Giants are listening, I mean, hopefully they practice. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing, mm-hmm. but if there's any Giant fans of the... 
It did, I mean, this is this is the biggest bridge burn in history. It's just like <laughs> this is. But what else are we supposed to do? There's no way I can sit here and interview a guy that caught w one fucking catch. It's delusional. And, and, and is born again. I, I have a hard time. It's delusional to do yeah. this. It's like what the fuck? Are you serious? I don't know how this got booked. Look. Let me just. I'm just gonna go to page. <laughs> Here he goes. Again. <laughs> I can write a book, dude. I'm uh, still about good. thinking Look, about making that catch. Continues. Page 149. God. You're just re randomly. Has always been with me. Yes. God is. God's uh, on every page. I also pray for the will of God in finding a wife. Yeah. God knows what's best. This is all on one page. God knows what's way. best in God finding a wife. Bless. All right. This is all God on one page. Uh, I thank God for my mother. God will bless you. God has always been with me. Uh, moving down. All right, ready? God right now, knew, flip to another place. Right now. God, See if oh, God, yeah. God knows what is best for us. God knew what? God in finding a wife. God was faithful to send me a wife who loved the Lord. Wow. All right, flip it. Ready? Uh, let me stop you. No, you give me a page. I'm, f wait, I'm going to... Wait, I've flip done, it. Flip it. I'm going to say stop. Just... You should just give me... All right, whatever. Now. All right. Mm-hmm. Find God on that page. Oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! God! <laughs> God look. There's God. Woo! It's the Bible is written by oh, David Tyree. <laughs> but then there's uh, I sat in a holding cell. There was no one in there but me and and God. God. That's right, Anthony. Can I? Can I do? Uh, like I've I've never heard heard, heard this uh, gentleman speak either. Mm -hmm. um, but can I do what I believe it's going to sound like? Sure. Okay. Uh, Maybe we should do this. It's just going to be like. Hello? Yeah. I picture very soft-spoken and, like, pulling teeth for anything. Yeah. Like you said, he didn't write the book. Whoever did. Kimberly Daniels. But it's going to be one of those, well, yes, God, very important to me and my wife. Um. Okay, so now, after the catch, you guys, you, 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 you what, like, what, what, it, what were they saying to you? Mm -hmm. Well, everybody was very happy, um. Is it on YouTube, Danny? Maybe, maybe it, it's something on YouTube I, I, where he's in, interviewed. I just picture worst interview ever. Why don't we make believe we didn't? We don't know he's into the God thing and go. Oh man, the broads you must have got. Oh, you must be fucking like oh, a man. Ring, you must be getting pussy all over the place. All right, we, what do we got? Interview. Okay, here's. Uh, you know, after the Super Bowl, life I'm sure has been uh, quite a whirlwind for you. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the things you've been doing? Oh man, it's been drastic changes. Uh, you know. I had a time to do a nice little circuit in L.A. between uh, L.A. and Jimmy Kimmel, uh, NFL Network, uh, oh, hanging out with ESPN, all, all kinds of stuff. And then uh, uh -huh. you know, lots of charity work. Got a nice charity event going on this Thursday with Children of the City. Just, get, just getting out there, you know? Out of all oh, the things you've done, here. everything he's that's happened. He's here. He's quiet. Seriously? Holy shit. Holy shit. What do we do he's now? He's not in there, though? In the oh, go. Hide me too, rabbit. Hide me too. All right. The franchise version of the All Open right. Anthony show. Here it goes. Oh, make, quick. Just make hurry, 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 hurry. I'm in the middle of the show. I'm just sitting in a chair, dude. Oh, hey, Ope. I'm Ant. Oh, hey, Ant. Here comes Opie. Sorry about that interruption. Oh. So, uh, Ope, who do we have coming in next? Uh, we've got, uh, David Tyree, Tyree, oh, football guy. Yeah, he made that catch. Yeah. I tell you, I don't usually watch football, but I saw that Super Bowl, and it was incredible, that catch. Is that all he's famous for? Well, I mean, it was a famous catch in the Super Bowl, Ope. Where is he? I thought they were bringing him in. Yeah, do we have, uh, David Tyree coming in at all? Steve! Get Steve. Yes. Is anyone working back there? He's in production. I'm gay. <laughs> Steve, yes. I thought you said David Tyree was here. He's using the I was busy guys. staring at him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will fire you. I will fire you. You do not pour water on me. Sorry, I was going to pour water on you. How about talking to a mic that works, Steve? Oof. How about potting one up that works? Yeah, it's on. You don't talk to... Yes, I do. We'll so both fire you. Why Why are we talking to Steve? Where's David Tyree? Get it, Steve, get David Tyree. I threaten to fire people so much. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Opie's job. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we're killing time here is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Where's uh, E-Rock? Eating somewhere? Probably. 
fat piece of shit crying over into the manners or whatever. Oh. All right, we're killing time. Oh, here he is. David Tyree. David Tyree. Oh, what is going on? Welcome, Welcome sir. sir. Take a seat. Right here, hanging on. How you doing? I'm Opie. All right. Anthony, sir. Pleasure to meet you. How you doing? Stop it. <laughs> hanging, man. Hanging. We the first you're uh, talking to today, or have you come no, from somewhere else? I was hanging out over at Channel 11 for a hot minute. Ah. CW11, we know them very well. Very well. They're yes, good friends of ours. we have some uh, <clears throat> history. <laughs> yes. That's what's up. So, uh, David. What's the deal? You're promoting a book. Yeah, that's, that's It would be it. nice if we had a copy of the book somewhere. Oh, there's one right there. I got one. Take, we'll take a look at that there. It's very I've nice read it book. already. More than just the catch. Yeah. Want to fill us in a little bit about uh, this book here? Yeah, it's a little bit everything, you know? Uh, all, all the crazy stuff that I... That I went through in my life, you know, uh, stemming from the, you know, just a crazy young kid growing up, drugs, alcohol, mostly, mostly marijuana, all that, you know, uh, all the stuff that we I get know into. a little about that. A little bit about that, that you yes. do. A little a lot. Oh, you know, here and there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, basically, uh, kind of the struggles that I right, had. Right, Danny? Getting up to that point, uh, you know, obviously being in the NFL, um, it's not a good mixture, you know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I, I got eventually got arrested, marijuana possession, and... That's kind of what led me to my faith and things like that. Very nice. <sighs> Going through some of the uh, the photos here. Oh yeah, I got some classics in there. You dress up pretty nice. Every now and then, you know. Oh, maybe well, you don't need to flirt uh, with them, Ope. For this one here, what's what's this one all about? You throwing up a gang sign? Oh yeah, that's like hair. my Jim Jones. I don't, you know, I don't need to listen to uh, Cameron and Dipset much. Ah, uh, Dipset, yes. <laughs> yes. Dipset is a go. Yeah, I was, I was a big fan yeah, of the Dipset you... back then, so I was just acting a fool back in the crib. I see. Had to keep it fun, you know? So uh, you say uh, you found your faith. Yeah. Uh, do you credit that for making this catch, which we're looking at on the cover oh, of the definitely. book? definitely. Well, you know, yeah, you know, obviously, you know, a lot of people, when I say it, people go get, get a little wacko, like, well, you did make the catch. I know I made the catch. I was kind of there. Mm -hmm. You know, so, uh, you know, I just, uh, I, what I mean is that there's no way, you, you know, Human talent can make that catch. You know, it's not like I can prepare for it. You know, I can go in a park and catch balls on my helmet. You know, so that's what I say. You know, God did it. Why do you think God was on the side of the Giants? No, I never said God was on the side of the Giants. I just said that. Uh, you know, it, people misconstrue that as well. It's not uh, God was on our side. It's God is looking out for anybody that's you know that's not willing to defame His name. You know what I'm saying? So unless you're a patriot. <laughs> there was some pay <laughs> there was some it was some pretty good pay I saw there was some patriots out there that was crushed. But you know, the will of God is just the will of God, you know, whether we win or lose. I see, I see, I see. How are you um recovering from your knee injury here? I'm ready to go, man. I've been ready to go for a couple of weeks. I, for, first I was a little upset about uh being on P U P to begin with, but you know, it gave me a, it gave me a little more extra time than I needed, you know, to be strong and uh I'll be out this week and then I'll be uh, should be back the next week. I wanted to ask you, uh, Michael Strahan is now an uh, analyst for Fox. Yeah. He just made his pick for the season, saying that uh, Dallas is going yeah, all the way. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, you b we're both on the same team last year. Uh, yeah. How are you taking that? No, nah, you know, he's got a job to do, but, you know, it, it, it sucked. I thought he could have went out there and, uh, and and gave us a little bit of love for the first one. But at the same time, you know, he got a job to do. And, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, he just go out there and do his job, and we do ours. Mm -hmm. now, if we could get um, my brother Elmo, big fan. Uh -huh. of the Giants, just obsessed with his team. If we can get him on the phone sometime, I know he'd have a, a lot of questions he'd like to ask you. Oh, sweet. Mars, why isn't this monitor working? Again? It's... Oh, there it goes. Go ahead, Ope, I'm sorry. No, there's no problem. Yeah, so it's just odd. Uh, Michael is... Um, we haven't had him on in a while, but he used to come on the show regularly. Big and, Mike. Uh, Makes Trey, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's big time now. How is, uh, how is he doing as far as... I don't want to go into too much detail, but like his things that were going on with his personal life last year uh, and uh has he discussed any of that with you no i never discussed it you know he, he's he's not ashamed of it so uh you know he, he'll willingly say <laughs> he'll willingly say you know he made every every conscious effort that she wouldn't get all his money but at the same time you know things worked out the way they did that's his personal business i don't really do too much of getting into that stuff no no that's that's that's, that's a little dangerous you know especially when the guy's got weighs me by about 80 pounds i'll leave it alone how do you feel about jerry rice as a player? Ah, oh, well, he was my childhood hero, to be honest with you. I was never mm -hmm. a New York fan. I was a 49ers fan because I grew up, you know, late 80s. The, the Niners was running the show, so. Because sometimes around here we go, we do an impression of Jerry Dice. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Jerry Dice. Yeah. <laughs> that was new. I never got that one. Yeah. But um, Jerry Rice, he's a solid dude. You ever met him? No, no. We just do Jerry Dice. <laughs> you know? Phenomenal. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Loving this book here. I do have to ask you um, about Plaxico. Oh, for not, yeah, that's 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 the. How do you say Burras? Burras? Yeah, Burris. 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 Hey, Fess. <laughs> Fess. Hey, Fess. Well, he was suspended for missing practice, yeah. uh, allegedly saying that he took his kids to school. Uh. That was the excuse for why he missed practice. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so you yeah, know I, anything about I that? That's the first. That's the first I heard because you know I'm just not big. I don't, I don't read too much papers. I, I knew. You know, I just I'm reading here has is supposedly a bizarre excuse. Um, that's tough, you know. That's tough. You know, we we men that don't get a chance to do that too often. So um, if that's the case, I got a little I got sympathy for it. But yet at the same time, you know, he's a grown man. He, he's in, and we're grown enough to make decisions for ourselves. You know, and that's that's what we got to do. You know, you got to make decisions. If you if you know you got to be at work, it's, it's eventually going to cost you. But hey, you just got a new contract. Have you uh, mispracticed legitimate reason or not? But uh, has that ever happened to you oh, at yeah, any point my, in your career? My rookie year, heck yeah, I got. I was like leading the team in fines my rookie year when I was, uh, and I was just a wreck that year. Yeah, you know, I think I had about ten thousand dollars in fines, but it should have been forty. Nothing during your college days. I see that you went to Syracuse. Our old Anthony went Syracuse. to Syracuse. Did you? No, I didn't even graduate high school. <laughs> Oh, that was supposed to be the setup. <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't uh, graduate high school. In radio, we can do that. Make this career. There's That's no reason. That's phenomenal. We have a, a a fan somewhere outside that wants to say one fan. Yeah. That's, I'm good for one. Where is he? Yeah. Hi. This is Stephen S from uh, Bayshore, and uh, I'm watching the show today. Um, Opie, you're you're such a phony. Um, you were saying how much the Giants suck and Big Blue blows and all that. You're 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 a Jets fan. <laughs> I am a and big Jets fan. Here you are fan. kissing wow. David Tyree's ass. I I, I don't this really understand uh, the phoniness right. list that's going on here. Well, well, I'll leave it to Stephen S from Bayshore to sell out Opie. <laughs> David, uh, I have to level with you. I am a Jets fan. Grew yeah. up on Long Island. Hey, man, you mad at you, dude? You're in the prime of your life right now. Brett Favre's in town. Yeah, well, I'm not too big uh too big not a too supporter big of Brett Favre that? either. <laughs> Think Opie, he's a big Opie. sellout. <laughs> Tell him what you were saying the other day. You know that, uh, you know this guy's a, a one-hit wonder. I mean, all he has in his career is one catch. You were saying it just the other day. All uh, right, Opie, well, if you could uh, maybe yeah. pot that mic down way to, a bit. Way uh, to make me uh, feel uh, big about myself about here. Satellite um, radio. Yeah, I, I, I was uh, just saying that I thought you know, book because you caught a football on your head. Uh, you know, what's the deal? What's the deal? Why a book? Why a book? Because yeah. I got a story to tell. Why the hell you got a radio show? Oh, Every day we wonder the same thing. And they keep paying us. <laughs> that's, that's it. Do you think anybody could have predicted that catch that you made? No. That's that's the best part about it. Because I, I think the only way you could have predicted a catch like that is if you had had some kind of sports almanac, like <laughs> Biff Tannen did. If you could get... <laughs> Like uh, uh, here like we go a time again. machine. Biff. And uh and I'm head tune out for twenty minutes there. <laughs> head to the future. Get That's the sports phenomenal. almanac. I'm sure there'd be a little footnote in there about that catch. Because it, it would obviously say, you know, the Giants it, ended the Patriots, you know, winning streak. Definitely. And yeah. I'll bet uh, I bet I could create an entire museum dedicated <laughs> to myself based on the money that I would get uh, <laughs> from that prediction as well as others. That would be phenomenal. Could I start in the movie with you? The sequel. Yeah. Which is your favorite Back to the Future? Part two. Really? Yeah, all the futuristic, the hoverboards, phenomenal. Yeah. Can't beat it. We had a guest in that their favorite was part three. They weren't invited back, no. Thank you. No. <laughs> uh, where did they get those re the, the logs to power to power that, yeah. you know, the train? I don't even remember. I don't think part three got another. I didn't even give it another watch. No. No. It's just no. Part one and two, phenomenal. Yeah. Let's, um, you want to take a phone call? A couple of listeners calling yeah, 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 in, some man. supporters. Um, supporters. Maybe not this one. We're on in Boston. Okay, good. And uh, so this is Brian in Mass. Brian, you're on with Mike. Ah, with David Tyree. Sorry. Hello? Hi, Brian. Hi, yes, David. Uh, quick question. I love the book. It's called The Catch, correct? Yeah, more than just The Catch. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm a, uh, a Patriots fan, and I was just looking at some stats online. Can you tell me about the other three catches last year? Other three catches. What's the point of talking about those? Uh, I don't know. I just saw online it was a four catch season last year. Yeah. Those. Uh, what what happened to the other three catches? Or did they have a chapter? Or... 
Boy, you, you just really oh. missed the whole season, didn't you? Like, I didn't even, the four catches didn't even matter. <laughs> Isn't that the whole gist of it? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, jeez. All right, thank you, Brian. Nice try, This Brian. isn't a book about all the catches. It was, it was, it, <laughs> he caught the thing on his head with his fingertips, for God's sake. <laughs> Let's talk to, um, from Yellowstone, Lady Trucker. Lady. Hello. Hello, David. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, how old were you when you first played football? When I first played, I don't know, 11 or 12? Oh, no. David believes the shit the white holes shrink babbles. I don't even know, what, don't that even know what that meant. Sometimes we get prank callers That's here. Well, and uh, and there's fun. not much we could do about it except maybe talk to a different phone screener. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sorry about this that. This is the good stuff. I Let's like talk this. to, uh, take one more here. Cody in Indiana. Cody. Cody! Hello? Yeah. You're hi, on. David. How are you? What's going on, Cody? Hey, uh, I, I know that, that you uh, you probably think that it's all part of divine intervention for an amazing catch like that. Was it anything like the movie Angels in the Outfield to you? Mm. Anything like Angels in the Outfield. Um, I don't know if you could see my angels. Yeah. No, but... I, mean, I mean, Christopher <laughs> Lloyd is just amazing. I think he, he crystallizes an experience <laughs> like that perfectly. And and if it was anything like that, I mean that's amazing. Well, we all know Christopher Lloyd's amazing. He created the Fox capacitor, after all. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, have, have a good day, David. Thank you. Hey, right, take it easy, boss. I mean, who would have thought that one person could take a car like the DeLorean? <laughs> you know, and then you a little plutonium. A flux capacitor. Flux capacitor. And, you know, it's flying through the sky. That's phenomenal. Into the future. 88 miles per hour is all you need. Can't beat that. They could send a dog, Einstein. They could send, you know. That's a nice setup you guys got over there. Oh, well, yeah, this is our very own uh, XM studio. Sirius XM really? now, I guess, since the merger. Okay. But, yeah, they built the studio just for us in the Ron, Ron and Fez show that comes on after us from noon to three. This is sweet. Yes. Another uh, question about a teammate of yours, Tiki Barber. Um, yeah, Tiki Dog. Career suicide going to the Today Show? <laughs> Missed out on the ring? He did. You guys still talk to him? Nobody... Yeah, we still talk to him. You know, I, you know, I think he's had enough, you know, you know I'm sure he's, I don't, I don't want to say he's regretting the situation, but, you know, it was kind of rough when he threw us under the bus at the beginning of the season. You know, when he started off 0-2 and he's like, Giants are pitiful mm. and uh you know so i think those you know you know he paid for it you know and there's no reason for us to rub it in his face you know he did some good things for us yeah i think we uh have another audience member who has a question what's the deal you're on oh could you where is he softballs at this guy david do you know that 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 op guy right there he doesn't believe in god and he, um, and he makes fun of people oh, that right. believe in uh, god he's there that's we why, go that's why i'm mm, here uh, that's what I'm here for. That's uh, yeah. I'm not practicing <laughs> going to church wise, but I don't think I'm, I'm totally not into the God thing. I just uh, I'm very skeptical. I can understand people are skeptics. You know what? They got they got reason to be skeptics. You know, when you look at so many hypocrites out there, it's, mm -hmm. a, lot of, it's a lot of hypocrites. That's you know, a lot of reason. And uh, since we're sharing, I, I got to uh, admit something else. This is uh, yeah, confession. This yeah, is this sweet. is You're uh, already into it. Bro. This is Greg Hughes, the uh, the actor who plays Opie. Um. I know I said I was a Jets fan. Yeah. I really haven't been into football for a while now. Um, I'm all about the Tiger Woods golf. Sweet. Are you playing that? No. I'm I on the PS3. I, I sucking games. I suck no? in video games. It's not, it, you know, what's the Madden rules? Like 21 nothing, you're off, right? You yeah. You're off the sticks. I gave up like three years ago. They just kept 21 skunking me. Well, if you get the new Tiger Woods, I'm XMOP on there if you okay. uh, like Sweet. to befriend me on the PS3 network. <laughs> I am. I do have the PS3, you know, even though I, I rarely get on. Now, when you when that ball was coming down from the sky, did you feel like it was? It looked almost like like a missile coming from a ship, <laughs> like you know. Yeah, the people, Enola Gay is dropping bombs on the Super Bowl. Yeah, I tell people. You know what I mean? Uh, it was like Chariots of Fire, dude. I yeah. had like a soundtrack playing in the background while it's in the air. Like Hiroshima. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, it was it was wild, man. <laughs> Wow, we got some outstanding sound effects going. Oh, well, we, we try to keep production value. Our, our interns obviously sit there reading papers. They're interns. Yeah, that's yeah. one of our interns. It's Sam. Wow. But he's uh, phenomenal. What's going on, Sam? Obviously, he does nothing but sit on the couch and read the paper. You know, that's great. I get water. Yeah, thanks, Sam. <laughs> we got the water. Thank you. So, uh, touch back on the book for a tiny bit here. Yeah. Like he touched on the on the on the football. Oh, you're quick. Yes. Books on tape. You uh, you got anything in the works? Are you gonna voice it? 
Uh, you gonna I get somebody a little it. more voice experience or something? Yeah, that's uh, not my that's not my thing. You know. And why don't you do the book on tape? That'd well, be sweet. Why don't you give him a uh, give him um, uh, give him a little example there? Yeah, give him a little flavor. Okay, well, for instance, like uh, Ronald Reagan might read the book and say, like, well, this book is a story of the life of a man who lives. That this book is a story of the. L- <laughs> this book is. I just you know it's because he has because he has Alzheimer's. <laughs> Oh, that's good stuff. Well, he did. Ooh, I'm he, getting a communicate. Obviously, he's dead right now. Oh, Ope is on his cell phone. Um, yeah, I guess Ope oh. is hanging. What's wrong? Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. How, how's, I don't know. How's the book been doing in terms of sales and stuff? Uh, I don't know. This Last I heard was the first week. It was like 12000 the first week. So oh, that's great. Is it? I, I, think, really I don't know. know. I, I haven't sold any oh, okay. books. Okay, I was about to say. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody to tell me it was doing all right, but you know, it's, it's cool. Whether, whether it does good or right. Well, yeah. it's twelve thousand more than I've sold. <laughs> well, I don't have a radio show, so you got me on. You know, you got me on that deal. Well, maybe we'll sell some more books today. Yeah, it's, why don't you uh, give the uh, the big more than the just a there. catch. Uh, more than just the catch, mm-hmm. uh, a true story of courage, hope, and achieving the impossible by David Tyree with Kimberly Daniels. Who's Kimberly uh, Daniels? She's like my spiritual mom. You know, she, oh, okay. she, you know, she just pours into my life. You know, it keeps me, keeps me, keeps me going high. All right, I got a communique here that they're telling us he has to go. Sweet. That you're uh, where? Where are you? Where are you off to now? Oh, actually, you doing television? No, no television. I think I'm pretty much done for today. You come out and hang. You know, it's not. You know, I don't think. Uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal. We can hang out for a few moments. Okay, right. great. If, if, if one thing before you go, if, if yeah. you could help us. Anthony rarely asks for photos. He's a little yeah. uh, intimidated oh. and embarrassed by that. We, could you? Uh, could we get a photo for Opie's yeah, eye with you and Anthony dude, there? We, we, can, we can hang out. We can do it. You want to sure. do it live on the air here? All right, Opie, let's do it live let's on the air. Let's get a photo of you. I like this, dude. Are, is, are all these mics on? Yeah, they're all on. All right, we'll take this one. I thought they were all on. Yeah. <laughs> let's get a photo right there. Picture. Lined up nice. There we go. Thank you very much. David Tyree. That's an awesome dude. More than just the catch. Book is out now. Go out and get it. It won't burn you. Yes. Thank you so much for coming (laughs) in. Uh, We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. We're back (laughs) with the Sam and E-Rock show. (laughs) Holy shit. I'm Sam. There's E-Rock over there. Dude, that was so... Cringing. Wow, like I was wow, sit- wow. I was right here in the studio sitting on the couch yeah. uh, with a newspaper, just kinda hanging out to watch the whole thing. Uh Iraq was petrified when you you <laughs> were one of the audience members <laughs> saying that he my goal is to get Iraq a fist sandwich. He hates the Giants. He, he's a one catch wonder. He doesn't like God. <laughs> And Iraq's just like uh, 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 you were you were without words a couple of times. And Sam's performance as Anthony was brilliant. Oh, it was uh, it was just it was brilliant. The, it was the Ronald wonderful. Reagan impression. Yeah. Uh, uh, d- talking about Back <laughs> to the Future. Yeah. The, the, all right. The Enola Gaze. The Enola Gaze. 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 Dropping bombs on the Super Bowl. I was I was <laughs> I was I was wondering where you were going with that. It's like it was like a missile coming at you. The Enola Gaze. <laughs> Like, God damn it, you fucking uh, funny. Uh, let's say uh, Jerry. Uh, yeah, let's say hi to Greg in New Hampshire. Jerry Greg. Dice was hysterical. Hey, what's going on, boys? hey. Uh, that's why I pay money to listen to the radio. That was fucking with somebody on a whole nother level. Oh, yeah. I'm a lifelong Pats fan, and uh, that was cathartic. <laughs> <laughs> you Thank know you so the much. game. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dropping bombs on the Super Bowl. <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> and then, and then you hang E Rock out again when he goes. Yeah, uh, Anthony went to Syracuse. No, I didn't graduate <laughs> from high school. It really wasn't fair. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. It really wasn't fair because E-Rock, before we even did that, he was like, all right, because he was doing all this like football research because he wanted it to go smoothly. Yeah. And he was like, he was <laughs> like all right. I of football. He was like, all right, it says here he went to Syracuse, so this could be one of our outs. Like, I'll just say our own Anthony went to Syracuse. And I was yeah. like, yeah, and I'll just be like, yeah, and talk about Syracuse. <laughs> and then he just goes, no, I didn't. I didn't graduate from high school. What are you talking about? He ends it. Right there. I was a character. Uh, oh, you certainly were. 
That was very good. That was hardcore, man. Oh, I, I wouldn't have been able to pull it off. Guys, yeah, believe me, because I, I had I a tear in my eye on the back. Like, I just was, it just <laughs> was shaking me. I oh. cannot believe Sam. And then E Rock did the, did the email. Yeah. He goes, oh, boy. Oh, 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 oh boy. boy. Oh boy. You know, Dude. And the phone calls were fucking You know what brutal. was really oh. aggravating him? Uh. Is I, I saw him, he was giving me the eye. Oh, you were tapping. tapping. You were doing the OP tapping. looking at where I was tapping. <laughs> and he was tearing, he Dude. was tearing the papers too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh. yeah, the pen and it. All you hear is this. Uh, going on as he's trying to fucking talk. Stop <laughs> stalking. I think you rang the bell for no reason. Uh, uh, rock, stop stupid that. horns. God stop stalking him. me. You, you, you had me down way too much. Oh, it was good. That was the most, that was the greatest, worst thing I've ever Yeah, it was, it was horrific to watch. See, we could officially franchise the show. Yeah, that's, we got to do that again. That's the goal right now. Right when he walked in, he goes, oh, you guys' reputation precedes you. It's yeah. like, yeah, does it? Well, now, <laughs> now I know who's uh, leaving the show. It's got to be Roland because he's going to be so fired for that. <laughs> Dude, Roland was in the back just talking to me, and I just felt he's like, I'm ruined. Uh -huh. I'm ruined. I'm there ruined. Goes, there goes my uh, connection with the NFL. But if, 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 anybody, if he has any friends, for real, yeah. right? nobody on a fire. You know, I played sports in my life. There's no way that we don't tease you for writing a book about one catch. For one catch. For it's catch. no way. Yeah. Is it exactly. true we only had four catches last year? And that God, that was a great call. call. Hey, what about the other three <laughs> catches? Oh, you know, your four that, catches. That one made me want to jump out the window. That was hard. That was hard to fucking Just to go, just yeah, go home. By. I'm going home. Oh. God yeah. damn it, man. And then when you said, yeah, the, the, the something, and then you went, for God's sake. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> You're taking the name of God in vain. <laughs> Oh, great job. Oh, man. Well, thank God now we know what we can do when we don't want to interview people. Roland will take Book all whoever guests. you want. Every guest we Every are now taking. Because we don't have to fucking sit here and interview one of them. That's right. I don't care who they want to book anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. You guys were great. Good. Were you just Thank heating you. up inside when I was going after? Yeah, thanks oh, for that. Opie. Oh. He's the best. Oh. Opie, you're such a hypocrite. You're such yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully you'll get uh, some uh, golf friends. From yeah, the PlayStation. thanks. I appreciate it. You got, you got, <laughs> yeah. right got your plug out there. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, that, was uh, that was very good, guys. Very funny. Gentleman. That was a lot of fun. Oh, I'm glad we didn't have to sit through that as a no, was real the, interview. Fuck. You no, know, was the best too was um, him doing like the worst Reagan ever. <laughs> oh, oh, and, and David Tyree's just laughing along like it's <laughs> oh, good. Oh, you guys! Oh, you guys! <laughs> oh, well, he's doing the worst. Right? It wasn't even a voice. It's just well, I like the book. Well, I like. The book. <laughs> See, because he was forgetting what he was saying. And then you go because he has Alzheimer's. He's been dead for. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you forgot because you have Alzheimer's. You forgot that he was dead. Uh, yeah, I was still doing That was good. You were in character. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, fuck. Heading toward uh, line Very of the day. Good. What happened to all the TVs? The cable went out. Oh, nice. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah, I saw everything froze up for a minute. I heard they weren't going to pay their bills anymore, right? Yeah, they so. said, fuck it. Uh, hey. Oh, God damn. And Patrice is like, this. you want to crawl into your your yourself. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> what? That was just, what are you supposed to do with that? That was just like the greatest. That was amazing radio. Like, I, I'm just laughing at because I can. I really went inside of Roland for a second. Oh, yeah. Poor Roland. Like, poor Roland, dude. And I'm sitting there going, but Roland, this is genius radio. Yeah. Dude. Like, it's just it's like, nothing better. We had it. We had to go that route. The guy mm, made a catch on the side of his helmet. It's this write a book, you this write a book giant that. arrogance there. Like, you can't. And then it was a couple of times it was serious, too. Like, yeah. what about the other three? You know, fuck yeah, the yeah, other three. Yeah, he, he was like, getting pissed at that. Like, real, this this is not no deifying shit. Like, you, you caught, you caught it off your helmet. Oh, that, that helmet had glue on and, it from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shut up. And he, he credited God with uh, that catch. Oh. It wasn't him. He goes, you know. Mm -hmm. You don't just catch a, a football between your fingers and a helmet like that. Is God gets so, got in so there? So now what though? Not well, like now what? God did that, and then now what? Die, and then, die, and then I think I think actually uh, Sam or, or Anthony asked a brilliant question. Well, of did course, because it was Anthony. Did God like the Giants better? Mm -hmm. 
that's a legitimate question when you say that God helped you make that catch right. like that. <laughs> right. Like, why wouldn't God be a, more of a right. Giants fan then? And when the Giants release him next year because, you know, they gave him an extra year because he did win the Super Bowl for the team, uh, did God have something to do with that? Yeah, with, with letting you go. All right. Oh, boy. Maybe they said to him, look, you were going to be cut this year, so fake an injury and we'll just have you on the injured reserve yeah, all year. sit it out. Seems like a nice guy. What are you going to do? Was, Seem uh, like a nice enough fella. I couldn't find a football. I was going to throw it from over there and go, hey, Dave, catch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See if he can catch See it. if he can do it again, throw it at his head. Uh, the idea of that book is absurd. Yeah, who pitched it? Like, who, who was, who was there watching? Like, some guy at that publishing company watched the play and just went, mm -hmm. oh, my God, I got to get him to sign a book deal. He just made this amazing catch, and I got to write it. I got to have him, you know. Write a right. book about it. How about Eli's book, The Th Beyond the Throw? <laughs> the Throw. <laughs> Beyond, Beyond the, the Throw. All right, let's do this uh, <laughs> Fisher Price baby doll, and then we're going to do Line of the Day and get out. I mean, after that, we really shouldn't even be here anymore. That's good on your iPhone. When unknown comes up. Oh, it's no. not blocked or anything. I don't know you, and I'm doing a radio show, for God's sake. Put, put him on the air. No, because then you'll yell. Uh, no, I won't, I won't do it. That's Jimmy's bit. Hi, who's this? Hello? 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 No one there. Right. It is unknown. You're lucky. Beyond the phone call. I wanna yeah. now see I could that would be equal right there. If I just wrote a book about taking that call on the air. All right, so and there I was. There I was, uh sitting by my mic and I felt a vibration in my pocket. Yeah. And I'm like, that's my phone. Is it a text? And then it kept vibrating, so I knew it was a call. But it said unknown. What do I do? Mm -hmm. I thought I let it ring a while, and then Opie, uh, Opie's my on-air partner. Opie was born in Huntington, uh, Long Island, and, and then you go through your whole history. And then and get back to the call of Holy fuck. And that's chapter two. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's chapter two. Hitting the button to take the and call. And then the other person wrote, the, wrote their book, Beyond the Dialing. <laughs> yeah. The story <laughs> of, of Anthony not picking I up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you fucking made the catch. All right, good for you. Here we go. Good for you. Here's the Fisher Price baby doll. What did that sound like to you? It sounded like to that. you. Yeah, I think I just heard. Mia Williams believes this doll, despite its sweet name, is spouting more hate than love. More. And all of a sudden it says, Islam is the light. And I'm like, I'm like, turn down the radio. And then it's like, Satan is the king. Well, Satan is the king? Well, Satan, sure. He has a story Islam to tell Islam well. is the light. Satan is the king. Why doesn't anyone find, like, Satan after a crazy moment like that? I'm King Satan. Who are you calling? To... Voice man. Voicemail or something? The so, doll is called the man. Little Mommy Real Loving Baby Cuddle and Coop. They were cute. We were walking past, and as you walked past, they, they left. <laughs> It's made by Fisher Price and sold by stores all over the country. We showed it to another mom. I hear I heard it say Islam is the light. I, I think that's nuts. You could pull out the batteries, but Target says they're already pulling it off the shelves. If you do find you have one, you should bring it in for a return and then contact the manufacturer, Fisher what, Price. I'm lost. What was it supposed to be saying? I don't know. Did it's they say? It's obviously saying Islam, Islam is the light. I, I, it I, is? Do you it, believe it? I believe, yeah, the toy companies do this on purpose to get them talking about products. Uh, you know how many people are going out and buying this doll now? Mm. Just because uh, it's the thing to do. If what, you what have the doll, decapitate it and right. send it back to right. be, Fisher Price. Behead it. <laughs> yes, behead the doll <laughs> with the, as an infidel. With the Fisher Price. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Send it back with a receipt yeah. and the severed head. <laughs> right. And we'll give you your money back. <laughs> nah, they do that shit on pers uh, on purpose. I'm yeah, get a little publicity. Yeah, sure, a little publicity for the doll. All right, uh, we might as well do line of the day. Cause yeah, it's not getting better than uh, the salmon rock thing. Oh, that's uh, boy, is that a good gimmick for any time we have a guest that we don't want to talk to? Yeah. Oh, uh, know what we wanted to do? Go home. Well, well, well <laughs> Teasing, yeah. Of course. I miss Jimmy. He'd take that banana and make it like it was a telephone and talk into it. <laughs> <laughs> he hope he just well, did I it. Did, he wasn't oh, here. good gravy. You know what's going to be on Leno tonight? Let's not forget. Yes. Hey, uh, we were talking about one man uh, shows, Patrice, and a lot of people were reminding us about the Star Wars guy. How long has that been? Oh, fuck. That about guy. 40 minutes. 
40 I fucking so. minutes. We went with him for 40 minutes. Didn't we edit it down for... Are we crazy? Didn't we edit it down and we didn't get to it? Should have you rock and Sam do it. Yeah. What happened? Or, what, one man show. A guy came in and did the whole Star Wars movie as one guy. And he came in here to do it. You want to talk about cringe? <laughs> I think that was the birth of Ramon or close to it. <laughs> Romo. CP Rock's got a taste of that. I want to. I want to hear just a little bit of it. Uh, line of the day is brought to you by WebEx.com. Hold meetings, make presentations, and do it from the comfort of your own home or office. Check it out at WebEx.com. Danny, did you sit through that? Were you in here for that whole thing? I tried. Like I, at first, I, I sat in here and like once, like the first like forty seconds went by. I was like, <laughs> "There's no way I'm going to be able to last." So I kept kind of going in and out, in and out. I, I couldn't make it. Like I would try to sit here and. There would come a point where I just had just to get said, too many get up douche chills. Was he getting mad? <laughs> yeah. He had to have been. I wasn't really, I didn't not make eye contact. I just pushed my monitors together and kind of hid so I didn't have to look at him. <laughs> yeah, I was hiding behind a newspaper back there. <laughs> Same thing. So, I could yeah, not a lot of eye contact happening there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a runner-up line of the day. I don't get the, the black culture with the sneakers. But I, I don't I just get the white. Don't get it. The, the thing I always do, black, white, it's just different things. Black mm -hmm. people spend all their money on sneakers and maybe some rims. And white people will buy a life-size replica of Superman <laughs> for ten thousand dollars and think that that's noble. Oh, that's, that's very, very good. Patrice is going to be at the Addison Improv uh, for all you Dallas folk. Star Wars guys, thirty-four minutes. Can we get it in this part of the show? What so you it's, mean? you know what I mean. So it replays. So it all stays day? in the replay. Yeah. Um, I can try to do that. Yeah, I think we should do that. I could try to do it. We had some lame, lame stuff earlier. Come, come lame. <laughs> lame. <laughs> the show is gold. <laughs> it's always gold. Here's a, another runner-up line of the day. Well, the question is, a leech has 32 what? Oh, a, a what? Oh, okay. A leech. A leech has 32 what? A leech? Miles. Uh, uh, total alimony payments? <laughs> 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 See, there you go. Sure. But that's how you make it funny. Ah. They could oh. make it funny, that dumb show. No. Up there in Cleveland. Another runner-up line of the day. It's impossible to get a hole in one on a par five. It's 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 almost <clears throat> it's probably never been done. It's, and I don't I don't watch golf at all. I'm just just from playing this game. I didn't know uh, the game had an option uh, to play the caddy. Oh, <laughs> see, because you're and it's wow, a sport for that is, wow, you awesome. guys. Didn't... That is some early racism. <laughs> <laughs> early racism. <laughs> it was six oh five, and I broke out the racism <laughs> right out of the gates. Right after the music I, started. <laughs> <laughs> It was Our like ecstasy of racism. Right. Good <laughs> God go. almighty. Can you imagine real racism like actual slavery? God <laughs> damn. Yeah, right. What, 345, I got to get caught in you motherfucker. Don't you sleep? <laughs> uh, where's, where's the Roland? Is he still around? I don't want to Roland. 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 We'll Roland. do another runner-up line of the day, I believe. Roland is somewhere turning in a circle. Just oh, freaking trying out. to go back to go to Narnia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here's Roland. Hi, I told you yesterday I would get you back making Ooh. fun of my Islanders on email. I don't know. That's a well, stretch, Roland, obviously. What do you but... think the, um, yeah. any repercussions that from went, that one? That went well. I'm sure that be a, Why didn't you walk sure out? my Giants takes will forever be gone. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why didn't you walk them out? Why don't, because they'll be like, it's like if you have your friend in here and then they trash or somebody you know. And you trash like, hey guys, what's up? Good interview. Uh. <laughs> He's kind of your friend. Well, I know him, yeah. So, oh, you know him. And tell yeah. him the story about the kids. Yeah, there. Um, last season when I went to a Giants game, there was like five inner city kids outside. Just wanted to hear the game. He brought them all in to the locker room, gave them jerseys, fed them. <laughs> 50 yard line seats. This is the story he's telling me game. as they're doing the oh. bit. He's just saying. Give him tickets to the next game because they said they never went to a football game. Oh, <laughs> that's... Took, took him on the field, did all that stuff. <laughs> I asked him, was he, is he a nice guy? And he tells me this story. Let me tell you a little story <laughs> about what, about I, what a guy is. Let me tell you how nice he is. Let me tell you a little story. And then I hear somebody, Sam or Iraq, ripping his book, paid. Like, whoosh, whoosh, Beyond the like, bringing inner city kids <laughs> in. The, <laughs> that would have been book a better book. book. Yeah, there's another book in him. Yeah, so I know uh, I'll wait for the repercussions because I know this will be replayed over there. So then people go, ah, uh, who replays uh -huh. it over there? You? <laughs> oh, over there? Then? Yeah, yeah. It's K oh, maybe not. Maybe we just yeah. let that one sit. Sometimes yeah. we have to, you know, be stealth. <laughs> okay, well, another so we runner-up ruin it. Line of the day. What do you think the white guy was doing on the pier, just waiting, looking at his nails? Uh, uh, looking at his pocket watch? Just coming right in. It wasn't like the yeah. music. He had a musket, and it was like, doom, doom, 
Doom, doom, doom, doom, doom, doom, doom. I'm c- Be very, very, very quiet. quiet. <laughs> I'm hunting. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> More goddamn racism. Oh, Jesus. It just booking oh, racism in the morning. It doesn't and end. With first me. thing in the morning, last thing in the morning. Doesn't end. Uh, terrible. Anthony gets very excited when Patrice is uh, on the shelf. <laughs> it's fun. Patrice is, you know. A Patrice net, is a racist, a, too. So. A net of safety. <laughs> if I wasn't. Yeah. Partners in racism. I, just, <laughs> we can have a sitcom. God, I love your, racism. No, I'll, I'll take, I'll take my racist film. blows. Yeah, I don't care. To give, to give them out. Yeah. You guys should do some buddy films. <laughs> racist buddy films. I see network TV series. I do, too, my where friend. We, for some reason, we have to live in the same house. We'll be canceled tomorrow. Yeah, of course. Yeah. We'll be canceled the next day. They're two racists. I want to thank <laughs> I want to thank Roland for giving us that idea today because you know I I, I wouldn't know what to do with the David Tyree interview and Roland's oh. like you know what why don't you just have somebody else as yeah. interview him no. as you that guys. was a good idea Roland Roland I really want to yeah. thank you because we were in a tough spot there and we got so through if it. I was you when he said if I was you I'd do that because I wouldn't know what to say to the guy right right no it wasn't no, no. Well, <laughs> this is Iraq <E-Rock. laughs> I'm playing Roland no, <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I like how Iraq started the whole thing out trying to be like serious yeah. and do a serious interview. Yeah, <laughs> that fell apart real quick. I think he was shaking. Oh, he was the entire time. He was scared. And then the self-deprecation was pretty funny when he called Iraq stupid and fat. I believe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just scared David's voice switch. He got pissed. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah. Your show. Yeah, but you know what? It's God. God's going to make sure none of us get punched in the face. So that's I good. So. I hope God doesn't cancel my Giants ticket. Please, <laughs> <laughs> Lord. You he, could... better, he better have a sense of humor, man. You, you, you can't take yourself that serious. He has to know he wrote a book about <sighs> a, a, catch. a, not even an event, a fucking, just a, you know, I dropped a glass of water. I mean, like, I, I wrote a book about that? Like, come on, man. You ever drop something and bobble it and then catch it, like, at the last minute and go, like, oh, geez, Holy that shit. It, yeah. uh, that's book worthy you now. Ever dro- you ever drop something and actually save the breaking from with your feet? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you go, that was that was almost deity like. It was amazing. Like, you could put your foot in the way of something falling and the- save it with your foot. That's a book. <laughs> You know, if if Mr. Brady's book was called More Than Just a Catch, I wouldn't read it. Oh, unless it was, you know, Mr. Brady from the TV show. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, Tom Brady? Catch. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. what I meant, right. Unfortunately, Mr. more than yeah, just a catch. Yeah, what'd, what'd, you, what'd you catch, Mr. Brady? <laughs> oh, I caught the old xylophone ribs. <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with quote signs on the, the catch. Yeah, and then the catch. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shit. shit. <laughs> Fucking beyond the kid. What is this? Just stop. Mm. All right. Let's let's uh, let's do line of the day. Line of the day and then get out. You're going to be all right, Roland, right? Yeah. Are we know. meeting with somebody? It's somewhere? radio. We're telling it's radio. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, uh, 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 I, I, and quite frankly, Eli's interview would be even worse because he's another just, he has the personality of a, of a clamshell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eli's personality. He has more personality when someone writes about him in right. the paper. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are we, uh, Roland, I hope you don't get in too much trouble. Thank you. <laughs>